Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to the compressors in BandLab. When recording vocals or live instruments, there can be a big difference between the quietest and the loudest sounds in your recording, and this can make it difficult to mix your tracks. A compressor works by reducing the volume of the louder sounds, so the difference between the quietest sounds and the loudest sounds is much closer together and this can make it a lot easier to mix your tracks. On the track screen, tap on the FX icon. Tap on the plus icon on the none FX icon. Tap on the plus icon. Then tap on the dynamics tab to find the BandLab compressors. The DigiComp compressor is good for vocal tracks and has the overall effect of bringing the quieter sounds up in volume. To the right of the word attack is the attack slider. Moving the slider all the way to the left sets the compression to start pretty much immediately. This is good for sounds that you want to blend into the rest of the song. Moving the slider to the right slows down how quickly the compressor starts to compress the sound. So moving the attack slider to the right, so it says 10 milliseconds below the word attack, lets the first 10 milliseconds of the sound play before the compressor starts to compress the sound. An attack of 10 milliseconds or more is good for helping the sound cut through the mix. Below attack is release. Release sets how long the compression continues for after it starts to compress a sound. Moving the slider to the left reduces the length of time. And moving the slider to the right increases the length of time. So moving the slider so it says 300 milliseconds below the word release makes the compressor turn on for 300 milliseconds at a time. Ideally, the release time will be the same as the length of the average note or sound on your track. Below release is threshold. Threshold sets how loud the sound has to be for the compressor to start compressing the sound, and only sounds that are louder than the threshold are compressed. Moving the thresholder slider to the left makes the compressor start compressing at a quieter volume. Moving the threshold slider to the right makes the compressor start compressing at a louder volume. Moving the slider so it says minus 40 dB below the word threshold means the compressor will start working when a sound is louder than minus 40 dB and will only compress sounds that are louder than minus 40 dB. For reference here, the maximum volume of a sound on a track before it starts distorting and overloading the track is 0 dB. Below threshold is ratio. Ratio sets how much the sound that is louder than the threshold is compressed. Moving the ratio slider to the left reduces the amount of compression. Moving the ratio slider to the right increases the amount of compression. So moving the ratio slider so it says 2.0 to 1 below the word ratio compresses 2 dB of volume above the threshold down to 1 dB of volume above the threshold and therefore compresses 20 dB of volume above the threshold down to 10 dB of volume above the threshold. While moving the ratio slider so it says 20.0 to 1 below the word ratio, compresses 20 dB of volume above the threshold down to 1 dB of volume above the threshold. Below ratio is knee. Knee sets how smoothly the compression is added to the sound above the threshold. Moving the knee slider all the way to the left makes the compression start compressing at full compression. Moving the knee slider to the right makes the compression start more progressively. So moving the knee slider, so it says 8 dB below the word knee, means the compression will gradually start to compress and reaches full compression at 8 dB above the threshold. So this is a sound before compression. One, two, three, four. And this is the same sound after digicomp compression. One, two, three, four. The FBK compressor 
is good for dry sounds like talking, rap and acoustic guitar. Attack sets how quickly the compressor starts to compress the sound, so moving the slider to the left reduces how much of the sound plays before the compressor starts. And moving the slider to the right increases how much of the sound plays before the compressor starts. Release sets how long the compressor compresses the sound for, so moving the slider to the left reduces the release time, and moving the slider to the right increases the release time. Squeeze sets how tight the compression is, creating the effect of reducing the overall volume of the track. Moving the slider to the left reduces the tightness. Moving the slider to the right increases the tightness. Ratio sets how much the sound is compressed. Moving the slider to the left reduces the amount of compression. And moving the slider to the right increases the amount of compression. Makeup gain sets the output volume from the compressor to compensate for the volume reduction caused by squeeze. Moving the slider to the right increases the output volume. This is the sound before compression. One, two, three, four. And this is the sound after the FBK compressor. One, two, three, four. This is a guitar track without compression. And this is the same guitar track with the FBK compressor. The TechLab BA2A compressor is good for boosting the volume of the track. Gain sets the input volume level. Moving the slider to the right increases the input volume. Moving the slider to the left decreases the input volume. Peak reduction sets the amount of compression. Moving the slider to the right increases the amount of compression. Tapping on limit changes peak reduction from compressor to limiter. While a compressor reduces the volume of the louder sounds, a limiter only stops the volume exceeding the set limit. This compressor is good for boosting the volume of a track without adding distortion. Use the gain to increase the track's volume and the peak reduction to stop the louder sounds creating distortion. This is a guitar sound without compression. And this is the same guitar sound with the Tech Lab compression. The GTR Squeeze compressor is a sound modifier compressor that can work well with instrument tracks. Sustain sets the amount of sustain added to the sounds. Moving the slider to the left reduces the sustain, and moving the slider to the right increases the sustain. Level sets the amount of volume reduction of the sound. Moving the slider to the left reduces the output volume. This is a guitar sound without compression. And this is the same guitar sound with GTR Squeeze. This is a drum track without compression. And this is the same drum track with GTR Squeeze. The BL1176 compressor is a compressor with simpler controls than the DigiComp.
Input sets the input volume level into the compressor, so has the effect of making the quieter sounds louder. Moving the slider to the right increases the input volume, and moving the slider to the left decreases the input volume. Output sets the output volume level that goes out of the compressor, so has the effect of setting the volume of the track. Moving the slider to the right increases the output volume. Attack sets how quickly the compressor starts to compress the sound. So moving the slider to the left reduces how much of the sound plays before the compressor starts. And moving the slider to the right increases how much of the sound plays before the compressor starts. Release sets how long the compressor compresses the sound for. So moving the slider to the left reduces the release time. And moving the slider to the right increases the release time. Ratio sets how much the sound is compressed. Click on the drop down list to select a ratio. Ratio 4 to 1 is the least amount of compression. And ratio 20 to 1 is the highest level of compression. This is a sound that is uncompressed. One, two. Three, four. And this is the same sound compressed with the BL1176. One, two, three, four. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us the thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.